morning, good evening, good afternoon, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi everybody, it's me, Pokey, here, everyone. I tried to do, act like I had a sign on, and I don't, I, maybe I should one day, nah, hope y'all having a great day, ugh, sleepy, I guess a little bit, but, today's been a little bit, uh, this week's been, uh, rough, and the fact that I don't, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting my own work schedule of if it's, uh, Right, no, I don't get any, I don't get, have a day off until I've been, this week has been, un, unlike most of the time at my job, full, uh, six out of seven days today, this week. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta. Yeah. They try. They even heck. I think that yeah. They even uh, tried to ask me to come in, and um, they tried to ask me to come in on Sunday. It is Sunday even, which would not be allowed because which is just not. I mean, because that'd be a full seven days. I'm not even. That's not even something you can do. I'm gonna submit that. Yeah, it's been a little rough. Even if I, even oh, even after I move past, even with you know like, I I'm surviving, but it's rough. <laughs> a little bit annoying, but honestly, that's probably part of why I don't want. I I mean, I people. The players, everyone, seemed to be satisfied, but I just don't feel like I put my all into it. I could, I, I keep looking back on how that went and thinking I could have done on what I could have done better. But to, we're not here to talk about or dwell about the mistakes or what could have gone, what did or go oh, wrong. We're here to play I, the Somnium Vials Nirvana Initiative, the hit visual novel. Directed by Kotaro Chikoshi, because and find out what the hell is going to happen about the mass the mass virus mass bioterrorism plot. Um. Right, last time we ended up. I think we had just finally confirmed that Shoma. We, did we confirm that Shoma is immortal? We went into Terror Somnium. Yep. Terror it was Jin somehow? Uh, yeah, and the mass. And the mass. And the mass girl. And, the, and we met into, went to the mask girl's mind. And yeah, she revealed... We finally found out that Shoma is e eternally young. And will not a will not grow up. At least not in, in very, any reasonable time frame. Hey, Shoma, quiz time. Right? Hi, Oz. Uh. Yeah, you were fifth place, Ishoma. <laughs> Classic. Oh, oh dear. Ah, you know what it is? I had both different audio output captures. Whoopsie. No, it, the audio output was just not playing as it should. There. Whoopsie. Sorry you didn't get to hear that gag out loud. 
Hang on me. Want to? I want to put readjust that. That feels right. The tatsus are made for two people. I like using it with three or more people too. Yeah. Don't you think beef bowls have too much red pickle ginger? You know what? I've never. Th I would have never thought it, but honestly, too. Yeah, the place. The the place that I use. Shut up. Shut up my phone. Oh wait, I have to take this actually. It's fine, it's fine. I just had to. I just had to. Uh, my mom called for me to pick up a package that was just dropped off outside that she got a notification about. It's nothing big. Wink sink, go! Oh. You are young, but remarkably intelligent for your age. I believe you can comprehend the teachings of Nice. Oh no, we don't. I don't want to refer. I don't want to go back to flashback to him being indoctrinated. This world, which you have lost all faith in, is a false one. By reaching him being the radicalized with the Nice pill, you can rid yourself of all your complications and concerns. About what? You're living by yourself, right? I'm okay. My big sister comes to visit all the time. Big sister? Huh? You have a big sister? Oh, I didn't tell you? You know her. I do? Who is it? A mommy. A mommy. Oh! Huh? What do you know? I don't think he mentioned her being in his big sister before. Huh? Sister. Cool. You're her little brother? Is it that surprising? Well, our parents divorced. Well, there you go. Now it's we know about the divorce. So... Now, now we have our divorce. We know about the. Wow, it just gets dropped, huh? <laughs> After us wondering about who could the who could the daughter be? Well, there you go. It's a mame. <laughs> awesome. I guess you wouldn't know. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I saw online there was some kind. Yeah, of there was a big, big explosive, a bit, a bit minor bioterrorism scare. No D. Nice. No, you know no diggy. No, nothing. The internet thinks it might have to do with something called the Nirvana Initiative. They're re nice. Is it really bad at keeping the Nirvana Initiative under wraps? I don't know anything about it. 
Tokiko didn't tell me anything either. Personally, I think if they're, I mean, if their plan is to cause a, a, just by going by their logic of causing, you know, a bunch of unexpected, uh, unpredictable things to happen at once, I think that the more people knew about the Nirvana initiative as a possible cause for, you know, irrational, dangerous behavior glo globally, that it, once their plan goes underway, I feel like that would get in the way of their, you know, causing the seam. Again, but assuming everything they're saying is completely true and actually works. I don't really know. She looked out for me, but of all of us who cracked the Bats 490 code, I was the youngest. Oh. Where did the, the cathedral beneath the Nice Japan building? Well, technically the staircase above it. You head down the spiral staircase to reach the cathedral. Six years ago, I cracked the code and met Tokiko there. So was Tokiko just hang did was she just hang hanging out? Like I have to wonder, like, how how do they how she was she just living in the building and having an alert like, oh, so a new pass four ninety person's going. Be quick, take the elevator down there. She taught me about Nyes and its ideology. She does have an elevator straight to the cathedral, but even then, like, they have to pretty have pretty advanced. They have to have some foreknowledge for her to make a suitably dramatic appearance for the. And you converted on the spot for the converse. Yeah. Mizuki, couldn't you be a little more delicate? No. Isn't that where they sell sandwiches and stuff? What? So you found out about the genome research somehow. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm the same as you. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, Shoma, hey! Oh, <laughs> Aww. I was also a result of genome experiments. Isn't that fun? No, so I was experimented on when I was still an embryo. I see. You don't seem surprised. I know about your superhuman strength, Mizuki. If anything, I was kind of expecting it. Bond over, bond over your your your, your child, your super childhood trauma. Hi, Kitty. Great to see you. Oh. Look, Iva, a picture of you. Do you want to lose your right eye too? Damn. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. A lot, most of what's coming, you haven't missed it too much. The main thing, the main thing that came up, yeah, Amame is his big sister, and that some people are suspected have a that the have an idea that the rocket was the Nirvana Initiative, but not what it is. I know about machine engineering, but not gene engineering, so I don't know too much about the details. But I do know that it works. My body is proof of that. <laughs> I don't know why this face he's making is so funny. You suspected something was off, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't know about the experiments. Mizuki, you're different, you know? How so? You treat me like a normal person, even now that you know. The other kids at school weren't like you. They were creeped out by me. They avoided mm. me. Damn, that's... Fun of me. I was picked on pretty bad. Yeah, that's gotta be rough being, it, basically being, that it's a, your body being 12 years old, even into it, high school, basically. I remember they ripped up one of my textbooks. So that's why you ditched school and dropped out. Oh, I have that up? Well, thanks, Oz. That doesn't, I don't think that does anything. I gotta get back to, I gotta get back to Cult of the Land one of these it. days. Sorry. Oh, right. About Tokiko. Hey, I just realized... Hey, I just realized the model the model for his machine he's holding didn't load at the right angle, so he's not using the screwdriver, right? I also remember this from six years ago. Or is that a spot welder? Or is that a welder? A spot welder? I went welder. to the cathedral like normal, and I saw her pass the altar. Right. She had her back to me, so she didn't notice me. I only saw her from behind, but I could tell she was concentrating on something. I didn't want to interrupt by saying something, so I walked up behind her. That was when she noticed me. She put away what she was looking at. I think it was some kind of file. 
She seemed caught off guard. There was a small safe back a there. A file and a safe at the cathedral. She put whatever Interesting. She was looking at in there, closed it, and told me. What you just saw, you cannot tell anyone under any circumstances. Well, whatever, Tokiko. You're to oh wait. You're somehow alive, which is weirder. Yes, there will be consequences. Do you understand? I was surprised. She never threatened me like that before. Guess whatever she was looking at was really important. Something she didn't want anyone to know. So that's located in a hidden safe behind the altar at the cathedral? Yeah. This could be an important lead. Right. I have to go look. But that place was destroyed in the explosion six years ago. Oh, right. The staircase collapsed too. That shouldn't be a problem. There's oh. another entrance. Wait, they didn't know about the elevator? No, none of them knew about the elevator? Mizuki didn't another know? Another entrance? Huh. How come Mizuki... How come they didn't know? Oh, or is this a different... I see, it's a different place. Oh, what, what is... What is what this is crap? It is locked quite securely. This wasn't here six years ago. God. Damn, I can't believe Col we found the door. We found Clavier Gavin's heart. But that was a different staircase, wasn't it? Right. I attempted x-ray mode, but this door is made of dense material. The locks are a special alloy. I don't even think your monster strength could get through it. If only we knew some sort of monster of uh, monster master of unlocking. Any other entrances? Unknown. Damn. At the very least, there are no other entrances shown on the blueprints. Then what do we do? Hmm. If only we. Knew yeah, exactly, Iba. <laughs> I know, Leon. LPL. Oh boy. It either his phone was out of battery or turned off, so I couldn't get a hold of him. Nothing else to do but look for him with Iba. Some time passed. Of course, Leon's not. Of course, it can't be. You can't just call him right over Leon there. Leon is at this park? He should be, yes. The last cellular signal pings from his phone make it likely that he is here. But I don't see him. But Kizuna is over there. First, oh, the lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> oh, Kizzy, great. You're right. Let's go. Yoo-hoo, Kizzy. Now to relock the door to show it wasn't a fluke. Kizzy? Oh, she's not doing uh, good. Oh, big sis. What are you doing here? I was looking for Leon. Kizzy, you don't seem well. Yeah. Yes, I am fine. If you say so. Do you know where Leon is? He went to go buy a drink at the vending machine. Oh, were you on a date? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> oh. Well, you started officially dating yesterday, so I was wondering... Hmm. She was smiling and happy yesterday. Perhaps she has an upset stomach. Oh no, our bravest soldier who has a tummy ache? Sorry, Kizzy. The vending machine over there can't do e-payments. And it's out of change, so I couldn't use a thousand yen bill. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> what a hassle. Oh, Mizuki, when did you get here? I've been here a while. This is a familiar cliche. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, um... Oh, sorry. I can't accept chocolate from you. This year, I'm only gonna accept it from Kizzy. Not that anyone gave me chocolate last year. <laughs> uh. He says that so he says that with a huge smile, but it, with his but with his voice having a big frown. Kizzy hasn't given me any either. 
Ah, uh, but who cares? The time I spend with Kizzy is more valuable than any chocolate. Leon, I apologize. Huh? I cannot see you anymore. Oh. Uh, can't see me? Something wrong with your eyesight, Kizzy? <laughs> uh. Leon, I cannot be with you anymore. Oh, no. That is what I mean. Kizzy, why? Big sis, please do not say anything. Uh, are you being serious? My guess, I'm gonna take a guess. Richie yes. said something. Dad said sudden, something. I do not like you anymore. I do not even want to see your face. Kizzy. I came here today to tell you, please forget about me. You deserve happiness. Goodbye. Well, uh, Leon, this is really awkward, but you want to open a bunch of locks for us? <laughs> Kizzy, what? Hmm. Excuse me, good sir. Huh? Who? What? Oh, son of a... Oh. You're the oh no, that's even worse! <laughs> Not this, Jush. Yes. This is from Richie Chieda. He told me to give you this. He did? A pipe bomb. Now that that's done, I'll be leaving. This guy is such a non-character to have a portrait. I hate him, dude. Uh, what? Yep, Rishi's paying off Leon. Gosh. <laughs> so this is breakup money, huh? Hmm. So that's it. That's what he thinks of me. Damn it. Damn it! I don't want this garbage! Leon. Can you leave me alone? Mizuki, don't let your emotions get in the way. Aiba! Our job is the investigation. I know. Leon, listen. I hate to ask you now, but I need a favor. I'm not picking any more locks. What? I'm done. I'm not opening locks for anyone anymore. Yeah. Why not? I don't want to go back to that world. Don't you understand? I don't want to be a criminal anymore. Mizuki. Yeah, he. this is not help. Both not going good for him. Wink sync. I figured we'd wink, wink sync with, uh... Kizzy here, but... Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock. And see what's inside. Uh, uh, what the... This must be for the HB case. Why is this here? <gasps> oh! The HB case? He... Oh, that we... If it weren't for the fact we played it... We did... That's a... Uh... That's Ryuki! Indeed. So it went like this. Leon picked a lock for someone, and what he found was related to the HB case somehow. Yeah, Ryuki, I guess him finding the, the person slicer room would definitely be a bit traumatizing to not want to do that. So you really get yes, out, huh? Ivo, we're changing priorities. We can worry about that staircase later. First, we need to get into Leon's head. Yes, let's sync with him. Well, we're finally getting some info. We're roundaboutedly getting info out of Ryuki, kind of, but not really, huh? He's pretty big for the sink Damn, machine. Damn, Mizuki, you can be pretty ruthless. I know it's for the investigation, but you detained your friend who was just dumped. I don't want to hear it from you, boss. I'm going to take care of Kizzy later. If you play your cards right, you should be able to fix the situation. The fact that he was paid off means that Kizuna was probably not genuinely upset with him. Anyway, I'll take care of that on my end. Oh! Take care of it? You just focus on the sink. He must have seen something crucial to the HB case, right? Probably. Go find out what that was. 
Oh, these are, I just realized Mizuki doesn't know where Terror's room is, because it seems to me that Ryuki just failed to report it, Mizuki? and Tama was I'm damaged. Sure you already know this. Right, right. No more than an hour of sinking at a time. Yep, one hour of sinking at a time. Okay, maybe you don't already know. A tenth of that. Six minutes. I know, I know. I was kidding, jeez. Now, good luck. Yeah. I don't know. If you sink for an hour, it works out. It'll work out, kinda, you know? Considering you got, what, every six minutes you'd swap? <laughs> Actually, I guess you'd need to go for 54 or 66 minutes. <laughs> of course, his dream's in the park. Where else would it be? Oh my god, Aiba, watch out! Oh god, you're coming in too high! Aiba! Aiba, you need to deploy, deploy your heat shield! Deploy parachute! Yep. Yeah, you must be dead. You're floating. <laughs> There's You're even right. a keyhole up there. I suppose I can float in this Somnium. This is interesting. Is it? I have little experience in this regard. It happens quite often. Which is it? Quite often or once in a while? <laughs> happens quite often once in a while. It depends on the mental state of the subject of the sink. This is Leon's dreamscape. I think I remember him telling me it was always his dream to fly. Damn, we, I can't believe that we're in Neverland. Sometimes, a person's wants show up in their dreams. Especially the more straightforward types, like Leon. I guess they had this to... This is Yoyogi Park, the fl right? The flight definitely... I guess the flight is necessary to make Yoyogi Park more an in more interesting place to, you know... It explore in uh, in sync considering uh considering the fact that it's pretty it's pretty flat uniform and almost grid based in the main area like okay open the pick the safe pick the door Pick through the trash. Pick out a beer. A non-alcoholic. And uh, pick the sky. Standing by. Boop, boop, boop. Novel ingress. Okay. What's this? A lock picking tool favored by professionals. Locksmiths and thieves. Maybe Leon used to use this. Maybe we can open some of them with it too. We should hold on to it. Uh, so, okay, so are we gonna do, I'm guessing we're gonna do, uh... Oh wait, no. Where's the safe? <laughs> There's the door. There's the beer. I get the feeling we're. Are we gonna do a mini game? A lock picking mini game suddenly? It appears to be a. But there is something interesting about it. It is made of a lead alloy. I do not believe that is particularly common in safe. You want to keep Superman out of your safe? You open it? No. Got it. Makes sense that Leon's dream is like this. Alright, well, pick it open. Open. What a good boy! Good safety. It's nice. I like this You're this track. Wow! Tons of money. A little cliche. Yay, money! I'm rich. I shouldn't get so hyped up. I'm only gonna steal just this once. I'm going to escape poverty and find a good job. Even in the 
criminal. Leon laughs his open important in memories so he doesn't forget. Is this a memory of when Leon used to steal? Leon was trying to better himself, I guess. In his own way. A copper oh, safe. It turned into a safe. It flew away. I knew it. I, I, I had a feeling. I just had a feeling based on you know what the dream, where the dream is, that there be an eyeball hidden in the uh, beer vending machine. Oh. And what do you know? There is. Uh, where'd that safe go? It kind of got so caught up in. Picture of Ganesha. This is the same as the one at Brahmin. I wonder if the info Leon is hiding is related to Kenny. Difficult to say. Oh, Mizuki, th there it is. Have five minutes left. Don't even sweat it. Another safe there is a keyhole and a keypad for inputting a code. It looks like we need an. So this needs a key and a code? Double locked? I am guessing it will open with either. So the safe only needs the key or the code. Huh. I think there was a, the trash can, what? the second one. What? That was Leon. There might be more. a pull tab on top of the knob. A pull tab? Like the ones on a can. Why is it on the doorknob? Uh... Use the pull tab. It won't explode, will it? We can ask that question after you do it. <laughs> well... Oh, it opened. Aww. You wanted an explosion, didn't you? It'd be funny. Oh eight nine. There's a piece of paper. It says zero eight zero nine. Oh eight oh nine. A can of Alfred. This could fit approximately five hundred liters. Damn. That's what hell of a drink. That, this is for an extreme hey, what's thirst. That, on there? that is a keyhole. Okay, I will try. I get it. You use the this, this and pick the lock this. of the can and <laughs> and pick the lock of the pick the lock of the can and pull the tab of the door. <laughs> Another Nine, piece oh, of paper. Seven, this one says if we combine it with the other one, it would read 08090708. I wonder what this number is for. If we were to break the numbers up into pairs and correlate them to the alphabet, 08 is H, 09 is I, 07 is G. Hi. I. Yeah, sounds like Leon. What? He's not high, he's drunk. <laughs> Except he doesn't drink alcohol. He just drinks, you know. A new safe. By combining it with the other sheet we found, the number is zero eight zero nine zero seven. He's just drinking non-alcoholic beer and somehow getting drink. I appreciate them saying it out loud, and then also letting you look at the key. The Look at the key. 
Look at the log, oh, in case you right. don't got it mesmerized. Yes, it opened. Hey! The unlocked is important memory, so doesn't forget. Once the this blank. Magazine? It looks like a job search magazine. Hmm. They're all kind of mad. Huh? How do you read this? Er, Dury Research Institute? I don't know what that is, but I bet I can land that janitor position. Saw, uh, saw the reason to live clean. Boo! Boo! I get it. Like, he's, he's a janitor. God. Yeah, honestly. When Leon gave up a life of thievery. The, I mean, the thing... The thing is, he's good at opening locks, but a locksmith needs to be... I'm not... We're not so certain, sure how good he is at, you know... True. That's still... That is still a valuable service, opening locks. But he's not... He, but we also aren't certain how impre impressive he'd be at building the locks, too. That's the other yes, part. So he meant Horidori. Right. The Institute. Yeah. Key. Oh, it turned into a key. The ceiling opened up. We can go higher. Can we get much higher? So high. What's Low to high. Low to high. Maybe it symbolizes how Leon wants to bring himself up in the world. At the same time. I imagine it is also a hint for the Sonia. Right. Do things from the bottom up. Let's look around. You have four minutes remaining. Eh, eh, don't, don't even sweat it. So, start with the lowest trash can. Not voice. That was later, my... I, pro true, you, I guess you're right, but there's at least a certain degree of being able to repair and stuff like that, which he, I'm not sure Leon, I'm not sure Leon's that great at that voice that. His voice. I have loved Kizzy's voice. Then... It got cut off again. I am curious about the rest. The, same. the secure information is stored separately. However, since they were in similar places, it was easy to find. Yeah. This safe does not have a keyhole. How can we open? It looks like a normal safe, but it, it is locked. But it has no keyhole. Something is definitely suspicious about it. Suspicious. <laughs> That's the wrong... Fittingly enough, that's the wrong button they meant to hit. But if we don't know how to open it... We can try checking other things first. Right. The statue of a girl at Yoyagi Park in real life. It was dedicated to the happiness and health of children. Leon went to the park a lot. So maybe he likes it. Hmm, maybe. Gained eyeballs. Yeah, there. Another bucket. Oh, how I want to hear Kizzy's sweet voice say. It got cut off again. It really is a tease. Three minutes left. You can do this. What's 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 her to say? Oh, come on. My friends. I want to hear that from her again. Just one more time! Again? It must have made him really happy when she said that. My prince. Okay, so we just stay out. I guess we just go and say that to the silver safe, right? Wait. How about slamming it on the ground? 
It looks pretty fragile. Hmm. Good idea. The problem is, how do we make floating objects fall? Let's try hitting it. Understood. <laughs> Look at her go. What? What? Big punch. <laughs> it will not move an inch. Like a lazy dad. What the fuck was that? What was that big punch? <laughs> I wonder if there's something else we can do. Thomas ass would have broke it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. A picture. This is. I wonder if difficult. Uh, think I through. That says low I wonder what it. It might be a little. Yeah, but going somewhere higher. Hmm. Is there anything in the Somnium that extends? Um, I mean, yeah, it's the, is there an even higher bucket? Did I miss one? A note that from low, among the objects floating in the air. Yeah, Maybe we... the plastic, hmm. let's start with blue. Blue, yellow, yellow. Pink. Then white. Okay. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Be careful. An unopened safe it has a key. Oh, voice activation I'm an device. idiot. This safe should eat. We're just going to go. We're going to go back a little then. Now let's just go back one, because I did use up two minutes. There's. I wasted up on the epiphany, which I when I already had literally you had the solution. Right, blue. Yellow. Pink. <laughs> and white. Now that we have the code, my prince, now we can finally, we can go to say it. An un- It has a- This say- Whose voice should I imitate? Kizzy's. Kizzy's. Got it. By saying what Leon wants to hear, which means. Kind of weird that they need those space, but sure. It should be my prince. My prince! It opened. Can't. Chocolate! Lee entraps himself because of external pressure. I've always liked this. It really takes me back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You work really hard. You're not afraid of getting dirty. You even do a good job with the toilets. Aww. Oh, you can be a little rash sometimes. <laughs> I'll work on that. I really was a no good person not too long ago. Someone at the Horadori Institute appreciated him. The path. But from now on, I'm going to eventually. I'm going to be the CEO. Or maybe president is the title there. Or is that his mom? But anyway, someone. This is when my life begins to skyrocket. Saw the memory of. Oh! Oh, a, 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 a split in the, the Somnium. Open the metal safe or open the gold safe? It sounds like he's talking to an older. Sounds like he was a little clumsy but well liked. 
Nice! A key. This key is. Whoa! I walk out! <laughs> it's okay. I can move. What's with that thing? Uh, fucking Chikara, of course. Anytime the bad thing, anytime there's bad, the vibes are bad. I've thing wrong since I started at Horadori Institute. I didn't steal anything. You think an ex-con doesn't deserve to be happy? Yes, I do. I do believe that. That annoying Ch voice. Fucking. It's yeah. Chikara, isn't it? Of course that it is. sounded like what Chikara said. <sighs> That damn Chikara. That's just the game right there, huh? <laughs> I understand how you feel. You're right. Hey, do you still have the key from earlier? Of course. I have been keeping it close. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Let's look around. Got it. Three minutes left. You can do this. All right. We've got them. Oh. This stereo was inside the safe. Oh, this is the one they use at the dance club. An old stereo like this? Do they not have a bigger budget? I think they chose to use it. Weird. Remember Kizzy saying, stereos are cool and retro. What is that stereo doing in the insomnia? Um... Press play. And Tur just like that? Crank that shit, Kizzy. Iba. Oh fuck! Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's the statue. <laughs> oh god, the way it's gliding around is so goofy. <laughs> oh, I was into it immediately. <laughs> she's got the she's got the choreography immediately. <laughs> Iba likes to dance. Wait, which one? I I was, I so I immediately I put my mind blanked immediately. Which one was Kizzy? Was Why it the me metal safe? Iva? It's fun. Dancing is fun because we can all do it together. <laughs> so true, Iba. Well, okay. Two safes came out. Okay. Maybe the key from earlier would come in handy here. I want to go with gold. But we only have one key. We need to transform the lost future. And yeah. Well, then let's go gold. Let's go for the gold. Plus, we were we already did, you know. So bright. Yeah, there she there she is. That was beautiful. Kizzy's dance cleansed my heart. Oh. Had he just... Wait, had he just... Kizzy, I became a locksmith. I'm gonna work a clean and honest job. Did Leon just get fired the second he met Leon Kizzy? Is that what happened? My feelings won't change. Oh, that was a right. We went to the right on the first try this time accidentally. I usually go to the left on these splitting pads. Whatever. Open Leon's heart. 
The broken will and love with no direction. This time it's a memory with Kizuna. Leon has been faithful to Kizuna Have a drink. For a long time. Sure thing. This is a stack of cash? Dancing. Walking. Rearranging. <laughs> Leon. I cannot be with ah, you. Ah, yes, anymore. the immediate memory. That is what I mean. Goodbye. Why? Wait, Kizzy! I'm not worthy of her. I couldn't protect her back then. This is what we saw in the Wink Sink. The explosion from six years ago. He's really regretting it. It wasn't even his fault. I'm trash. I can't fly. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> Oh no. Huh? What's going on? Rubble falling from above. It must be linked to Lian's mental state. Mizuki, we need to do something for him. Quickly. Um I mean there's only one thing we can interact with. There. Pick up the wheelchair. Is this a time capsule? With this. This is their time. There is a dial. I suppose you open it by turning the dial. Uh, turn it clockwise? It turned six times and it stopped. And inside. The glass slippers! Hey, the even for slippers that Leon gave Don't end the somnium just yet. I need to get that eyeball that's chilling in the wheel in Kizzy's wheelchair. Uh we're okay, we're, I thought we were about to warp out of here. His feelings for Kizuna have not wavered. They are still true. I'm not worthy. Leon you are both get yourself together. How long are you gonna be like this? What is this? You are my intended target, but I'm sorry. It appears you will be my sacrifice. Oh Stop. Don't do it! Damn. Terror to terrorized Leon, too? Oh, right, yeah. I guess oh, that's good. what happened. You're okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kizzy. That was scary, huh? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. Is that a heart? Maybe it symbolizes Leon's love. Leon, do you- I'm... I... I know for sure, without a doubt, that Kingdom Hearts is light! A key? To what? Confidence, Kizuna... Future... Think that hard about it, right? You have Kizuna. The Kizuna is key, right? Kizuna doesn't like criminals, like me. Uh, have confidence. Be confident, Leon. Your lockpicking talent is extraordinary. 
No confidence. <laughs> but that talent led me to a life of crime. <sighs> the future. Leon, you may but you paid for your crimes. You cannot be held prisoner by your past. What's important is the future. Yeah, Mirai, a beautiful star. <laughs> I committed a crime. I can't change that fact. But I decided I'm gonna live a clean life from now on. I'm going to make my future. Yeah! What are you doing? He's gonna he's gonna form the She-Blade and defeat this the gi the giant Ricci. Or no, Shikara. The chief key. It's kind of. Iba, the next key. Uh, confidence. Lian, you're a think of how many people you've helped with your skill. Be confident. Yes, confidence. <laughs> yeah, I should make something out of this talent. I'll live a good life. I'm going to help people who need locks open. <laughs> this is awesome. Watch out, he's going to use his Shikara beam. You couldn't protect the most important to you. Unlock the door to your own potential. You have no right to be fine Trapped by the tower trees. Mizuki, this is the last key. Slam it in there. Lian, are you trying to make me cheer you up? What? You probably want me to say, it's okay, Lian. Kizuna loves you too. If so, you truly are a weak man. What? Hey, Aiba. No, let me talk. Let me cook. <laughs> Lian, you believe you failed? You believe you couldn't protect the person most precious to you? Then you try again. You protect her again. You keep trying until the day you die. You're not worthy of Kizuna? Then become a man worthy of her. If you are going to pity yourself and give up Damn. your dreams at the slightest obstacle, then I suppose you really don't care about your life or Kizuna's. That's not... <laughs> the last key is inside you. I am not going to open it. It has to be you! <laughs> I'm... No matter what happens, no matter what people say, I... Damn. Kizuna, I love her! She's... Damn, she was actually cooking. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's God. Uh, look, Kizzy. My feelings for you can make me fly. Even if you can't walk or dance, I will become your wings. I was born to protect you. I'm sure of it. Oh, isn't and that sweet? No matter what hardships lie ahead, I will protect our bond. I will protect you for all eternity. Isn't that sweet? Uh, we didn't learn anything about the case. What about information on the HB case? Yeah. Uh, well, it is a sinker's job to get close to the heart. Jeez. I don't even know what to say. Ooh. <laughs> what about the information? Uh, uh... <laughs> we 
we got a little sidetracked a little bit, but I mean, it's for a good cause. Maybe he'd be in a better mood to act just outright say it out loud now, huh? M m hopefully. Spill it already. Okay, Mizuki, calm I down. I something that has to do with the case. That's what I would be yelling at you. Mizuki, that's exactly what you yelled at him. <laughs> After seeing Somnium, my game is a little off. Somnium? I looked into your dreams, Leon. Using a special device. All I saw in there was, I love Kizzy. Kizzy, I love you. <laughs> that's it. Nothing important. Hey, Leon, does this remind you of any voyeur content you've seen? What? Oh, if you don't get it, never mind. Date, you've ruined this girl. I'm going to beat you to death, Date, for ruining her like that. Oh my god. Date is yeah, god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> She'd learn it from someone, but if it wasn't, but it shouldn't have been Date. <laughs> what was it you saw about the like case, I Leon? Said, there has to be a mistake. Oh. Fine. Let's hold off on what you saw earlier, but I do have a favor to ask. You want me to pick that lock? I already told you. I'm not unlocking Mi anything. I lost the chance anyone. to ask those questions. Oh well. No matter what. Yeah. What if I told you I'll give you a whole photo album of Kizzy? Uh, uh, what? No. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement for that. I got an achievement here somehow. In order to access the staircase, we need Leon's skills. I can't get a warrant. It's a pain in the ass and it'll take too long. It would also cause too much of a disturbance to destroy the door with heavy machinery. We need to keep this simple and quiet. So we need to convince Lian. Correct. Mizuki, you have a call. From who? I do not recognize the number. I cannot say. Connect me. Oh, hey, ma hey mask girl, what's up? I don't have time. I'll keep it short. Due to an improvement made a few years ago, the words in the sinker's brain can be converted into voice data and sent via a phone line, which is why Leon couldn't hear Mizuki's words this time. Oh, <laughs> oh, cool! You can—they have—they have a telepathy telephone. It's they, I think he—I think he might be in a mood to just give up on locksmithing, even doing legitimately how he's in a bad mood right now. Anyways, a telepathy telephone, specifically to counteract the many times Date talked out loud on the phone. I just sent you something. It's not fake. This is a real video. Trust me. Goodbye. Alright. I don't know. I'm opening what, it. What video you got? Oh! Father! How could you do this? There's nothing wrong with a parent caring for a child. If you continue to protest, I will force the issue. He's an ex-convict. You don't know what he's capable of. With a snap of my fingers, I could get him arrested again. Piece of crap. No! Kizuna, think about it. This is what's best for the both of you. What was that? Unknown, but it looked similar to a wink sink. Oh. Okay, putting aside the masked woman part, let's just say the video is real. It seems to be Kizuna being threatened by her father, Richie, to break up with Lian. But that's so mean! Hey, the- Lian, listen. Hold on, Mizuki. We may be able to use it as a bargaining chip. Okay. Lian, um, if you agree to my favor, I'll share something you will really want to know. Something I'd want to know. Yeah, it's about Kizzy. There we go. Don't, don't outright release the video to her, to him. This is totally crazy. Yeah, the right. The cathedral is completely rebuilt. 
Six years is enough time for that. With nice finances, that is. So, what are we doing here? Ah, well... Oh, I never thanked you. Thanked me? You opened the staircase locks. Oh, that? That's no big deal. For me, it's like opening a pickle jar. A pickle jar. Oh, I see. And like I promised, I'll tell you that thing I was talking about. Oh, yeah. I almost... This guy is an airhead. <laughs> you were talking about breaking up with Kizzy at the park earlier, right? Uh, yeah. What if everything she said was an act? A lie? She didn't mean it? Right. She was lying to you. But she had to. What? Why? Well, her father... I feel like those two... I feel like those two words should say. I, it, force the issue. I feel like those two words should just sell the whole story, honestly. Seriously? Ricci said that? Yeah. So basically, she had to lie to protect you. Yeah. Kizzy. Isn't that a relief? Yeah. But it hurts me to think about what went through her head when she said that stuff. Aww. But I guess I should be happy. Yeah! Yeah! I am having a very difficult time understanding his type. Stupid. That's what he is, is stupid. Oh, Anyways. A hidden safe around here. I came here to look for it. Is there hidden treasure? If there is, we'll split it 50-50. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a file. It might be a big lead. A file? The hidden the not the hidden treasure of Nizet Lots. Anyway. Where's this That's, that sadly sounds like a, a story title, doesn't Hold it? On. Let me look. Should I help too? No, it's fine. I can just use my superpowers. Your what? You bet we you've been around Mizuki for you've been around Mizuki long enough to that she's at least got super strength. Oh, that's That's Mizuki, I know. That's not what we came here for. Hiya! But oh god, who is it? Is it? This is. You've got to be kidding! Who is this? Who is this? I do not know who this is, but they're another victim of the HB case. Well, we got distracted from the whole safe. We got distracted from the safe thing, huh? By the fact that we found a dead body unburied underneath knives. Sorry, Leon, that you keep. Who is this? Who is this perfectly generic asshole? He has absolutely no distinguishing features. It's. Uncanny, honestly. Hey, you okay? Oh, no. I'm not okay. I'm at my limit here. Yeah, that's Soon fair. Body. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Um. Damn face. Synthetic skin made from chitin. What? Ew! What? Often used for skin transplants for burn patients. Okay. Less ew, but still weird then so there's no way of telling who this person really is by their face at the very least it appears that terror got to them the cut section is identical to the other victims which would mean this person was in the horidori institute basement too that would be the case estimated time of death is february 10th 12 o'clock so is that february 10th 12 o'clock did today or 12 o'clock february 10th 12 o'clock six That's years it. ago somehow yes. Jin's left half that was found in oh. the stadium had the same estimated time of death. Interesting. Two people got cut in half? Damn. I have no idea what's going on. All of this is totally beyond me. I am also at a loss, but it is our job to make the incomprehensible comprehensible. What do we need to do to accomplish that? VR. Find leads? What is the biggest lead that we have right now? That's, uh... Half body tumors. You're right. Guess whatever, whatever she was looking at was really important. Something she didn't want anyone to know. Perhaps it is. And then with the kite, the chitin covered up the tumors. We should look through it now. 
That is the reason we came here, after all. Right, we got distracted by the dead body. That we were supposed to be looking for the safe. There it is. It's a hidden safe. Just as Shoma said. The safe is in the wall. Is there some kind of mechanism that slides the safe into the- Like what? A switch? A button? An input device? Hmm. A brazier? Moving the braziers, presumably? Nah, just smash it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It was getting really annoying, so... What? Do you smash apart Rubik's cubes to rearrange the colors? Whatever, it worked, didn't it? Escape room operators would hate you. Damn. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining. I'm, I'm imagining Mizuki terrorizing any of the zeros and the z just ruining the notary game. <laughs> Just abs. Just <laughs> instead of getting worried about the, instead of getting, instead of being worried about the the number doors, Mizuki would just kind of would just smash through the adjacent walls to not trigger the bracelets. Would just like Hunter Hunter. In any case, even I then right. Hey, Leon. Yeah. <laughs> it's open. There it is. Isn't that the file you were talking about? Probably. I'm glad I could help, but I do not want to know what's inside. I don't want to get involved in any more trouble. Well, go ahead. You're good. You're involved. Pretty heavy, buddy. No, Sorry. Okay. Yeah. It is a printout from a PC. It begins like this. Everything is here for the frayer. Tokiko Shigure. So Tokiko wrote this? Yes. What does she mean by frayer? Unknown. Let's keep reading The frayer, it. huh? Tumors on the right side of the body. I only discovered these symptoms when he was five years old. Yeah. He was taken by the Furaway family, yes. But he is my son. I spend all my days thinking about ways to save him. Then, Shikara reached out to me with a way to save Jin. Ugh. Even his... He's make, even making an ugly face and he's imagined, you know, spots when now. When I first heard his idea, I was mortified and angry. His plan was this. Kidnap a child with DNA as close as possible to Jin's and transplant their organs as needed. That's fucked up. The very idea made me tremble with fear and trepidation. But thinking about my son, I reluctantly agreed. Shikara began traveling the country to collect DNA samples from children in orphanages. It's not a, yeah. After a while, it's worse than I Secret the Twins. Exact same genotype as Jin, Uru Somazuki. He was six years old and held at Iowan. Late at night, Shikara and I broke into the facility, shot him with tranquilizers, and took him away. The transplants happened for years, more than a decade. Oh. From Uru's right half to Jin's right half, and ultimately. The right half of his face. Wait, well. is that is that Freyer? All the while, I mean, not, is, is that terror? Complete control. He was held captive in the basement of the institute. Terror the was. Animal. Oh my was god. To be yeah, because because the the in terror Sambium we saw about you know him being torn apart for Jin and disabandoned for him, I disregarded for him. Oh my times. god. It may sound hypocritical or contradictory, but I felt sorry for him. Buru desired my love and attention. He looked up to me, even though he knew I was one of his kidnappers. 
I told him about the teachings of knives. This world is not real. And therefore, your pain is not real either. That is what I bestowed upon him. His eyes sparkled with intensity as he listened. He wanted to be useful to me one day. So, over time, my doubts and guilts rose up inside me. Suicidal ideation became impossible to resist. Oh. One fateful day, Ugh. I slit my wrists with the intention of ending my life. Oh god, that's, that is heavy to come Fortunately out. Fortunately or unfortunately, I failed. I wavered between life and death, but eventually recovered. And I was blessed with a revelation. This world is only a simulation. I, of course, already knew this truth, as it was central to Nye's teachings. But in that moment, I truly understood the meaning behind those words. Yes? As I learned of the great deception that is this world, I lost all emotion. There's more where it would take a while to read everything. Skim through the pages so Iba could scan everything. Got it. Scan complete. I have already processed everything written there. Thanks. But why did you show up all of a sudden? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. Yeah, I can't click I can't click on you. It's easier to click on you. Leon's shaking up. Boy, I I bet. So, half a face what? transplant? The tumors appeared on the skin as well. Ultimately, it reached the right half of Jin's face. When I say right half, I mean from Jin's perspective. The tumors covered the whole right side of his face. Those were all removed. And afterward, the skin of the right half of Uru's face was transplanted that's, onto Jin. That's fucked. What? Uru Mizuki? No, uh, I did. Would they say his name was? Would they say that? Oh, Uru So Mizuki. And besides, Mizuki is her first name. It's she's a Mizuki Dot Date. Dot it's all right. It's all good. The left half of Jin's face had a unique percent-shaped mark. A percent-shaped mark. After Chikara left Nyes, he became a follower of the cult called the Order of Percent. To them, the percent mark had a special meaning. The moon of a percent is a only sign of the creator. I don't recall seeing a percent sign on Jin's face. Right? Yeah. Neither side of Jim we've seen has a percent face. Mama. Likes bar back, dislikes hate crimes, and customers who puke in the bar. Likes pulling class, Bali Riva, and sword fighting. <laughs> Sword fighting. Shining her crystal balls and watching Kira Oka's promotional video. Her fortune telling actually increased. A few years ago, she had lines out the door, but it got to be too much for her and she banned everyone but repeat customers. Mama's amazing. Why is he upside down? He isn't taking the divorce well. Yeah, skills eating out of shoes? Yogano, you good? He, I mean, no, obviously, but damn, he's not doing good. <laughs> Profession likes turtles, Atami, people presidents who don't raise her, dislikes presidents who don't raise her salary. <laughs> Mizuki, give her a raise. Hobbies, sitting on the de reception desk naked sometimes. Don't don't let da, don't do not let Date do not let Date read this file. He will be he will never leave Lemniscate. <laughs> uh, 
She got dumped recently, so she's been super sad. It's like trying to beat an impossible game. It's just game over instantly. It sucks. She's super bad. Feel bad for her, please. Sad. Feel bad for her, please. She's right. She. Yeah. They. That. Whatever she's doing, it works. <laughs> Ghosts, doubles, shimmies, fists, saws. Sixty-one years old. Strangely, he's the- I think he, he- honestly, of all the characters in the game, I think he's the one who I can- he, I can buy their age the most. Okay, MoMA's pretty- MoMA does MoMA kind of feels that, too. His <laughs> seem to be taxi driver. <laughs> Dislikes credit cards, high-tech, hobbies, multi-level marketing schemes. Bro, you need to try, and you should try the other MLM instead. Ha! <laughs> Take out a transport job. He knows Rishi from a while back. And when Rishi's personal driver got sick, he took over. Oh, there's so Hottie? <laughs> oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. The receptionist used the term hottie to refer to anyone she finds hot. It's pretty simple if you think, find, think about it. <laughs> This might contain information you already know, but it's included here just in case. Investigation are dangerous. You might lose your memory due to an accident. You can use this to regain your inf memory if this happens. Tete-a-tete. -tete. A tete-a-tete -tete is a private conversation. It's so funny because it also sounds like tit-a-tit. -a -tit. <laughs> we'll go through the appendix later. That's a lot. I, I want to get back to... Oh, wait. Just realized. Eyeball. My little thing. What do you think of eyeballs? Tasty. Sunny side up -y. A mame e. We got an amame e again. Okay. Hope we can get the other. Would not dare remove such a sacred mark from Jin's face, which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. Within the file were photos of Jin Furoe and Uru Samazuki before oh. the transplant. This is what Jin Furoe. Oh looked shit! Like. We we really stepped away from the file right before right at the important part, huh? That's Jin Furoe, huh? What? That doesn't look anything at all like the guy we know as Jin Furoe. I understand you want to say something, but please let me continue. Not even a little bit. Next is Uru. Yep. This is what Uru looked like. What? But wait, then the left half was untouched, but... But... But, huh? As indicated in the file, and his father was... 27 yep. years ago, when Tokiko was 23. She became pregnant with... So the child the masked woman was talking about was Jin. That body was not a part of the HB case. It was already in the basement. Chikara must have been experimenting with different procedures before deciding on organ transplants. Therefore... I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? Oh god, that's what the slicer was for originally? Like, actually doing and, and, that? And the left half of... Combining bodies? Yes. It seems Chikara was attempting to combine the donor's right half with Jin's left half. He was trying to fake. Was the half body. Was this a serial killing? Trying to make it work? Which is why there are. How would that even work? It wouldn't. Yeah. Which is why he came up with the organ transplant idea. Which was. Okay. Uh, I don't get any of this. I understand you are confused. After the transplant, Jin looked like this. The right half of his face was Uru's. Oh, boy. The left half was the original. Untouched to preserve the percent mark. Oh, that's... Okay. What happened to Uru after he lost the right side of his face? The part of his face that he lost was then covered by a chitinous material. A synthetic skin. Okay. Shit. Okay. Artificial skin? Correct. The corpse is Uru Somazuki. How can that be? Technically, half of Uru Somazuki. Where is the other half? Jin Furoe. You already know. 
The left half of the corpse at the stadium on the 10th. Was Jit was Uru Somazoki? That was Uru too? Yes. But then wait, who's the but? But then who's the body that Ryuki found? Wait, then who's the? Huh? Wait, wait, hang on. Then how? And of course, six years ago on February tenth, the body oh, okay. found yeah. the yeah, there you go. Furaway's right half. So, this and this are two different people. Yep, two different people. It is easy to understand why the mistake of thinking they were the same person was made. Their faces are identical, besides the fact that they are mirror images. But that is not the only reason. When the body was found at the stadium, oh. the DNA sample used for comparison was DNA taken from Jin's organs. That's kind of contrived, but I get I okay, I kind of get it. The corpse had lost almost all of its blood. Oh, and the body okay. Was extraordinarily right. damaged by fire. No blood, no blood to actually take out. Okay. Therefore, the DNA samples had to be taken from the organs found at the scene. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it of course okay. follows that they match. Okay. Oh fuck. It, 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 oh oh fuck, it's just like it's just like Archer. How Archer <laughs> Archer swapped the the blood samples for the paternity test with Cyril's because he didn't want to be found as the father of the baby, but Cyril was the actual father, so he implica accidentally implicated himself in the process. <laughs> That's how the two bodies were determined to be the same person. Yes. Because they because they thought they were testing Archer's blood, but it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Edited by using a mirror image of the right side of his face. Jin never appeared publicly. The photos were all provided by him. Damn. I can't, I can't believe they just did a ha, a wow on Jin Furue's publicity statement. Now we know, know who Terror the is. in the basement of Horidori Institute. Terror definitely wrote it. It was Uru being kept there. Terror was Uru. Also, that that effect that that visual effect is cool. But wait, then who the hell is Terror now? Undoubtedly. But Uru is. Yes, he is no longer alive. Uru died February 10th this year. What about the other victims? Who killed them? If Jin... If Jin died six years ago... So there's a, there's a third person with his face... That face going around or something then? Unknown. No, wait, didn't she just say that... Okay, right, okay. Six years ago... Six years ago, the body was found on... The six years ago, the body found at Tavacha was Jin Furue's left, right half. Yeah, so the two corpses... The two Jin Furue corpses that were found in public are different people, but one of them is Jin Furue, and the other is Uru. Not a tad of gin, body and Krogan redundancies. <laughs> damn. Damn, I should get... I really should get around to playing the Mass Effect series someday. I only played, like... I've only played maybe, like... I want to say maybe 30% of the first Jin. game. Oh. What is going on here, Big Sis? You know what? Yeah, Leah deserves a little break. After all that... In the middle of all this, uh... Revelation, Leon deserves I some good. Call. That is why I am here, but I did not know he would be here. A after all, we did kind of re-traumatize him with that corpse, yeah. huh? I know. Kizzy, I heard what your dad said, but I've cleaned up. I'm not gonna do anything bad anymore. I won't go to jail. Please, don't worry. My father will never forgive you. 
What will you do about that? I want to be your legs, Kizzy. And your wings. Let's use those wings and run away together. Oh. We can fly as high and as far as we want. To the ends of the earth. So you want to elope with me? Aww. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Gizzy, I'm gonna make you happy. I will never make you cry. I'll never let you down. Nor deserve I'll you. I'll smile on your face every day. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. You being with me is going to take away your freedom. No. That's not true. Being with you makes me happy. With you, I can fly. Let's go, Kizzy. I... Mm-hmm. Aww. Hey. Leon, I understand. Please, take me with you. Higher. Farther. To the ends of the Earth. Of course. Uh, Leon! What are you doing? You know how dogs sometimes get so excited they pee? I don't want- you, you, you need to course correct this metaphor right the fuck now, Leon. It's kinda like that. What? That does- that did not- imp you didn't improve it. <laughs> well, let's begin. Start oh! Amazing! Oh! I just realized that- I forgot that's what she said about the dancing. Aww. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, literally be her legs. <laughs> oh, look at him go. I didn't hate I never noticed that uh Mizuki has an adder rabbit bike. Come on. Do the full routine. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Look at him go. Aw, how sweet. <gasps> oh. That was good. I was so caught up at the moment, I was, I was certain they were gonna do a, a, the, the cute kiss. Huh? Did you say something really nice just now? <laughs> no, I was just making fun of how simple you are. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> she just has that kind of face. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. Happily ever after. Case closed! I don't know about that. I don't think this is all so simple. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. We still haven't solved the HB case completely. That is not what I mean. There is a group of people on their way here. Oh, what? What? They will be here shortly. What? How shortly? Let's see. Another two seconds. What? What? <laughs> there they are. The girl's there too. Mr. Chieda said to get her back. Don't hurt her. Hired goons? What about the guy and the other girl? Can we kill them? He didn't say no killing. Hired goons? That makes things easier. God, when she is, when Rishi said he'd force the issue, I thought it'd be, you know, legal action, not super ultra elite illegal action. I believe Rishi hired them. God. Jeez, way to ruin the mood. Get back, you two. I'll take care of them. Leon, protect Kizzy. Got it. They'll have to take Kizzy over my cold dead body. 
I... I know, but I mean, let I... Active camouflage! They vanish! <laughs> huh? You? I was just passing by. Of course, sure you were. Want? Mizuki, they're using optical camouflage. Use thermal mode. Right! I can see their body heat signatures. Wait, how did you know that? I guess. No, you didn't! Oh, hold up! That's my bike! <laughs> Mizuki, there are there are more there are like ten to twenty more important things than her knowing about thir about Iva and the, you know, in your bike. Ask? Mizuki, I think you have it wrong. I mean those are those are those are very valid questions. Oh, she has the same bike. She has the same bike! <laughs> Yeah, you have like 20 to 25 more important issue issues going on. And the same pipe! <laughs> Ooh. Mizuki with the rider kick, fuck yes. Oh! Go oh shit, shot in the mask! <laughs> good thing that's a good, a that's a good mask, huh? Hi! Hi, pipe! <laughs> Hi, <laughs> <High> pipe. <laughs> is, I thought we were too. I thought it would be like Knuckles' is high shovel. Activate all her muscles at once. Psycho Crusher. <laughs> I do like those kinds of parts of the action sequences where you just do all those. The bitch Avengers or something? Uh, 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 stronger than Black Window. That's for sure. <laughs> Black Window. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, okay, he the first guy wasn't cooking with Bitch Avengers, but he made, the guy fixed the pun did fix the punchline at least. <laughs> Thanks. You helped me out again. No, don't worry about it. No! Oh. <gasps> the mask finally came off! Who is it? <gasps> She's got a ball! She's got an eyeball! So, what's going on here? She. So, uh, she's Suzuki. Guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. Hatsune's Mizuki. The NASA glue loses its hold over time. Big sis? Big sis? Nice seeing you again, Kizuna. Courts? Courts? Please stop calling me that. You two knew her? Uh, hold on. I'm trying to process this. Kizzy and Leon, you know her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stuff happened, and stuff happened? <laughs> Fine. So lots of stuff happened, huh? I'll think about it later. What I want to know is... Your face. We can talk about it all later. More importantly, Kizzy and Leon, you need to get out of here. Those guys might come back with reinforcements. Well, that explains why she knew about Thermo Mode, huh? Right. You can use my bike. Kind of. But... There's a helmet under the seat. The keys are still in the ignition. Uh, are you certain this is okay? I... No, but just give it back as soon as you can, okay? I can't thank you enough for this. No, she can hold on with her arms. It'll be fine. Kizzy, hold on tight. Okay. She's got to hold on with her arms. She, she even has the same Anna Rabbit. Well... To the ends of the earth. All right. Let's go. 
much. <laughs> I can't believe that there's two. I can't believe there's two of them. Da this is, this is so. This is un. This is unreal. Two Mizukis. Two Zuki. They're very slowly driving away. will be fine. Huh? What's wrong? What isn't wrong? Fair enough. <laughs> two Toriels. Can we talk? Yeah, but. Before that. Yep. There's a little more. There's a we few more. Get rid of those guys. They did not appear to even notice Kizuna and Lian escaping. These guys are idiots. We can't let them follow them. We gotta take them down. I know it's. I know. So let's go, Mizuki. I, I get that. You know, since it. it uh, presumably clones or something. Ugh, damn it! I don't get anything that's happening, but fine. You and I are gonna talk about everything after we're through with this. But it's still kind of off it's kind of off put it's still off putting a little bit. They have them both using having the same voice then, actress. Then. Well then But I mean it makes it may, I mean it makes sense and when in the whole two of them effects would be less and if they yeah. weren't the diff they weren't the same, but Oh, we're just gonna. We're just gonna. I I suppose I suppose he doing the a more action fighting there would be. Oh, does that we end? We're ro rolling credits. We're rolling credits off that. Kizuna and Leon route end. Huh. We're not have we're not finishing that conversation with them. I mean, okay. There definitely should have been some guys sent flying. Yeah, that feels kind of weird that it, it just end. It kind of awkward. That it just ends there, but okay. Now, now I'm I'm so I am so curious about. What the hell about where we go there? I mean, yeah, I suppose, I suppose with Leon and I suppose the fact is there's not many more leads for investigating terror along that route to find, you know, investigating the half body case as it is. At least, perhaps, at least not without Leon and uh. Kizzy having completely left the plot, also. Alright, yeah. So now we just need to make our way back up to the two locks and do it the other way. Oh, one second. All the water in the pond. Uh, you know, there's this Badland Shugs drinking all the water in the pond. Go and burning building to save a person's lifey. Alright, grab the key, the lock picks. It appears to be Right, you just need to thankfully be heck we even know those solutions. <laughs> There is a kit look so this I am get so this hmm. Uh what was it? what was it? I know it was high.
eight right zero eight zero seven I was just trying to I was trying to think out how you type it. No wait no. Zero nine zero seven zero eight. Yeah. A B C D E F G Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Zero eight zero nine zero seven zero eight. Let's just try this number. There are ten million different combinations. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was an educated guess based on logical theory. That sounds wrong, but you are strangely persuasive. I'm a genius. My intuition scares me. <laughs> I love that but I love that Iba continues to be shocked when you know the codes you shouldn't know. Ten million possible combinations. <laughs> Alright. Hey, this means we can can we mess with the can we mess with the silver safe a little bit? Let's see. Ch -ch -ch silver safe. An honor it has a this safe. Whose voice should imitate Date's voice? And what should I? I'd say my prince. <laughs> oh, if only I could punch you right now. You told me to do it. <laughs> it's a I have to do the uh, it with the other voice that everyone else is. And what should I? S and what should I say? Liam's voice. No, no. Okay. Who's and what? My prince. <laughs> Why are you saying it so creepily? It's not how you say it. It's a Okay. Genny. And what should I say? My prince. <laughs> Do you think Leon would be happy to hear that in that voice? You told me to say it in Gen's voice. <laughs> it's a uh, that was that was worth all worth it. What would Leon want? I know. Say my prince. My prince. It opened. How did you know? Leon is just that easy to read. That would that's actually kind of that's actually a logical reason for Mizuki to just get the guess, huh? <laughs> I've always liked <laughs> you were no. Alright. Now let's open now we need to open his lock. And open the me, the other the metal safe. Get smacked down. All right. This oh, this, an old. I think they, I remember. What is? What if we turn on the radio? Though I don't know if we would. Just I want to see what. What do we get? Shh! Come out, hear us. I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped right now. It felt like I went straight to heaven. So I've decided, I'm gonna marry her. My heart feels like a jackhammer, like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second. What's going on? Comments Leon has made in the past are being mixed like some kind of whack mashup. Let's pretend we never heard it and move on. The st All right. Eject it. There. There's it no tape. Not necessarily. Perhaps Leon never conceptualized a cassette tape inside. If we press the play, you have four Mysterious. minutes remaining. It's fun, isn't it? As fun as the mo mo the it is, 
I feel like getting the the, mo the dance number three times in a row is a little mush. So yeah, there you go, fast, <laughs> super fat nightcore. <laughs> nightcore. All right. So, what's your? What's your, who's the, that's Gan, that's gotta be Ganon to save, right? Just by the f sheer fact of who else would be represented by the, um, by the Ganesha painting. Gan, Ganesha, ugh, lame. Lian and Gen are developing a strong friendship. He will not spill the beans about him. Oh, yeah, no, they're for, I get, we didn't get, we didn't even get a hint of, much of a hint of Gen being a friend's, the Gen friendship, huh? Open all locks. This place is, yeah, true. Inside the safe, kind of reminds me of Brahmin. Let's look around. Okay. The Gen friendship. The Gen ship. Gen ship impact. <laughs> put on the head. You want me to put this on? Yes. It'll look good on you. Please. Yes, please put it on. Good. Whoa. You look really suspicious. Tell Gen that next time you see him. <laughs> are we gonna disguise? Are we gonna disguise ourselves as Gen? Three minutes left. You can do this. All right. Facial recognition. You got the mask, Gen's mask, and the masked woman's mask. And who's that supposed to be? Oh, is that just a gap? Is a Oh, that's Date. A large safe. This looks like some. So we need a face registered to the device to open it. Oh, it worked. So it was registered again. The salad. No, that's not the Bimba Bap salad. It's just in a similar bowl. Bibimbap. Uh, everything screwed up, man. Why'd it come to this? You'll drive yourself crazy thinking about it. Sometimes the world is just unfair. No matter how hard you try to change, doesn't mean you'll be accepted. That's just life. But there is hope. At the very least, I'm grateful that you and Mr. Date are my friends. Kenny? Aww. You're my best friend, Kenny. And I'm pretty sure Date thinks so too. Let me know if you ever need anything. I'll help you out. Thanks. Now eat this while it's still hot. Okay. Thanks for the food. It's a good thing he has such good friends. Whoa, that's one hell of a lock. No. You can't open this! Mizuki, over there. Yeah, let's go. I just now found out that you can you can vertically move with the screw mouse wheel. No! Please don't open it! Looks like this is the place. What's in here? Ah. Sorry, Leon, but we gotta open this before you can stop us. Let's start with the keyhole. Uh, pick open. How's this? Yes, it opened. You're getting good at this. Now I need the code. Uh, hi. This number. Correct. We did it. Let's try the voice. My prince and kizzy hey, prince. voice. Correct. The gauntlet. The master key. Next is the stair. We saw this earlier. Press play. Start the music. <laughs> Last is the face. 
wear mask. Uh, the the, 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 I, the the ambiguous syntax caught me for a second of put on face mask versus wear That's mask. <laughs> All right, Leon. Sorry, buddy, but we're breaking it. We're breaking into your deep yeah. corners of that your mind. Deep, in, deep into what you don't want us to see. This is Brahmin. You haven't used this lock in a while, have you? The mechanism itself is pretty simple, but it's all rusted out. Lucky for you, this is child's play for me. And like Chucky? Yeah. Get it open? Yeah. I struggled a bit with it, but now let's see what's inside. Oh, the freezer. Uh, what the oh, no. Uh, hey, is this for real? Again? How can this be? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock and see what's inside. Ugh. Uh, uh, what the? This must be for the HP case. Why is this here? So this isn't the Ryuki. It wasn't a Ryuki in memory. It just was it's spoken similarly. A victim of the HP case. It's definitely a half body. But that corpse. We cannot investigate any further here. We have to go to Brahmin in the real world and check. Which means... Ugh. We're... out of time. The... Boy... Boy, they both... But the split of, again, of... Leon's at Samium is so extreme, huh? How come we're only getting Aiba only from, ex you know, this extreme profile here? I mean, it's, it's, it makes for an imposing shot, you know? But, who's there? Yeah, who's in Brahmin's freezer? Hey, Mizuki? Are you sure about this? What? Well, Genny isn't here. We should at least get permission from him first. Just do it. Uh, fine. What time? It's open. Okay, okay. who's open who's it. in there? Okay, I'm opening it. Classic Uchikoshi. It's not there anymore, is it? Uh, but this is. Jin Furuway's other right. If Jin Furuway's right half. Yep. Just as we suspect. Just like there's your there's your hard confirmation that Jin Furuway and Uru are de both dead. Is this? So who the hell is Terror? Genny? Mame? Oh boy, sorry Mame. Yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a chat, huh? I know why Leon opened the lock on the freezer. You asked him to, didn't you, Genny? Yes, inside inside Brahmin, we found Jin Furuway's body, uh, it being fro the right half being frozen, the one with the the one with the birthmark. Yeah. The real Jin Furuway. So now I want to know who that body is and why it's there. What do you have to say for yourself? Yep.
You okay? Yeah, somehow. We need to go shopping for ingredients. Right, we're out. You're going now? There's a 24-hour supermarket nearby. It is past midnight. The date is February 15th. I don't know. I have no idea who it is. Mommy saw the corpse in the freezer, completely shocked by it. When did you I open the lock? I remember it was around sunrise on the 13th. I got a call from Genny. Nothing. I've never seen this person before. What are you, dumb? Why is that a dumb question? If Genny did this, why would he show me the body? And it's not like he killed me or anything after. That right. is a fair point. In the Somnium earlier. Then why didn't Genny call the police? Well, I have my reasons. What the hell does that mean? I've been buddies with Genny for a long time. I can't rest right. on my bro. And that would make me a total scumbag. Why would I do that? We have no idea. <sighs> The identity of the corpse is unknown. Their face does not match any persons of interest. And we in can't know that it's Jin Furaway. All we can determine for certain is that, and their face has a very distinct marking. Yeah, we can tell just. I don't know how long it's been here. Uh, this is your business, isn't it? How can you tell me you don't know? He cooks with only fresh ingredients. I think it was about six years ago. Six years? I lost the key. Uh Hold on, are you trying to act suspicious? You wouldn't just leave your freezer locked for six years. It's common sense. With that acknowledged, it is clear that the body was not frozen recently. It shows signs of being frozen for at least several years. I'm sorry, but I don't know. The body just- Are you serious? You're still gonna play this game? Mizuki is upset. Do I look like I'm playing games? Well... How would I know? With the corpse being cut in half, the cut section is similar to the other recovered bodies. Which would mean this person was sliced in half in the basement of Horidori Institute. Most likely. I remember Boss saying... Yeah, yeah. Five, five different, different DNA, DNA. Which means, which means there, might there might be another, another yet undiscovered, undiscovered victim. Yep. So, yep. Jin for away. <laughs> And Uru both cut. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Honestly, huh. I don't want to accuse you of anything, but your story makes no sense. It doesn't add up. Could you please tell me more? Mizuki, let's move. SAT is on their way here. Do I look like a clown to you? Asked suspiciously pale man with multicolored hair. What? Why the SAT? I believe Boss called them. She was monitoring the Somnium earlier. Oh. So Boss knows there's a corpse here. Right. But why would she call the SAT? The SAT? This is getting annoying. What? Look, Genny? What's wrong? The police are on their way. The SAT. The special assault team. What? Oh. Eavesdropping? Screw this. I don't want any part of it. Sorry, but I'm out of here. That's wise, Leon. I can't fault you for that decision. Wait, Leon. Yeah, how does he hear that? How does he know? Hey, come on. What? Are, are they already here? Oh, they're already here. Leon. And he's being arrested. I'm being framed. Oh, no. Let's go. Yeah. What's all this? Amame, get inside Brahmin. Uh, okay. He's gonna fight off the cops with a, a walk. <laughs> I'm not sure. What's going on with that? Don't you think this is a bit much? It's not like there's a monster on the loose. That's exactly why we're here. We were told that there were two monsters here. And one of them might be related to terror. So we're here to detain them. Are they talking about Genny? Most likely. Huh? Who's the other person? You, ma'am. What? We were told you might resist. Resist? Normal police can't handle you, which is why we were called in. Who told you all this? The leader of Abyss. 
Miss Kuranushi. Damn. She's got me there. Do you plan to resist arrest? I don't like how these guys use violence to get what they want. So yeah, I'm not going down without a fight. This is... I don't know... The, this sentence is reminding me of Harry to Harry in right and down, in right, graffitiing the wall. Fuck the police! Right in front of Kim Kitsuragi, you know, right in front of Kim is like, like what? Why would you write that? We, you know how hard we work. Yeah, f but yeah, fuck us, right, Kim? Well, I don't understand, don't you? <laughs> that is quite the contradiction. And also, yeah, as Aiba points out, though, Kim, <laughs> Kim is, is, is time. Mizuki saying that is... You're gonna put up a fight, aren't you? He did it again. He's listening to our conversation. Let's do this. Yeah, how's Gen hear that? Is he electric? Well, we're fighting off the police. Mizuki. You take care of the guys over there. Damn, he's take, he's take, take care of the damn, guys. Gen's got a CQC stance with his pa his pan. <laughs> Come on, get that weak shit out of here. Just bringing UMPs? No, I don't think that's a UMP. I feel like I should recognize that gun, because I know it's in Counter-Strike, but I can't remember which one it is. I think it's an HK? This is cool. This is really cool seeing them fight the cops off together. MP5? Little dip. I think it's different. I... It's... Yeah, that seems right. Oh, damn. The... We're not... They're not doing good again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he getting his shit stomped in a second ago? Damn, he's... Wait, huh? Two of them? Two of them? Going on. Is it? Is one of those courts? Who are you? I'm Gen. But you're over there too. I'll explain later. We need to save him first. Or is it? Yeah, another cloning situation. There's been multiple Gens the whole time. Is it? Are we doing that now? Ugh. SAT is all over the street. It would be hard to get through there. What do we do? Wait, I have an idea. No time to explain. Mizuki, follow my orders. Equip scatter shot in your revolver. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. Man, we've gone. The, we've gone the whole game without Aiba coming up with a a goofy ass a goofy ass gun plan, oh, huh? There's no time. Just do it. Uh, okay. Scatter shot. Now, Helgen, this. There is a vending machine. Throw it to the other side of the street. A vending machine? Yes. <gasps> oh it's my god, we're doing this again! <laughs> as soon as she said vending machine. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you see that vending machine? I get it. That's a good plan. You don't even have to say it. I've got it. Here I go. Uh -huh. Let's go. Is the other Gen Dante? Uh -huh. You know what? Yeah, that that makes sense, huh? Honestly, even this throw makes sense if it's Dante. With he's being porno fueled, huh? Mizuki, now! Shoot it with scattershot! Porno install. <laughs> Whoa, that was actually a load. Yeah, right, he hasn't showed back up in this, in this time, at this time yet. Oh, no, that one's Gidate! Porno install! Yep. He's going so fast you can't even see him! Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> it's 
it's like fighting Jackie Chan in a table factory. Yeah, you know, except it's Dante on the porno street. <laughs> God, he looks so goofy in that costume. Dante? <laughs> Dis At least Uh. Hey, we're in the machine shed. We should be safe here for now. You changed clothes? That outfit was so hard to move in. With the wire frame and all the stuffing, it's the only reason those guys were able to beat me up. Sure, sure. Come on, scrub quotes. <laughs> Forget about that. There's so many questions I need answered. I won't let you leave until I have them. What if I want to use the bathroom? You can't just do that here? What if it's number two? Then I'll feed it to you. <laughs> Look, all you have to do is talk to me. So let's hear it. What if it's number two? <laughs> what a fish look. What a, what fish do I like? Mm, tuna. 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 Don't be perverted -y. What, is, what, what did you mean by that, Amame? -y? You good, Amame? You good, Gen? Yeah, the what day of the explosion at the cathedral. Yeah, where the hell you been six years? I was captured by terror. What? Were you okay? If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. When I came to, I didn't know where I was. I don't know why terror captured me. I wasn't sure if he was gonna torture me for information and confidential police secrets, or maybe he just wanted someone to play backgammon with. Anyway, I was held there for a whole day. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to kidnap me and force me to play to get me to play backgammon, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I don't fuck it. Backgammon, man, ba way back in Windows XP, they had a variety of, like, board games included on my uh, our, the old Hew our old Hewitt Packard computer, and you could play them with people online. And I, was, I like to play the checkers and... Uh, reversey, but backgammon I never understood. Then, a white snake slithered into the room. When I saw that, I felt my power churning inside of me. And that's how I was able to break out of the room I was being held in. Wait, wait. What's this about a snake? Oh, the snake? I'll tell you about it some other time. Oh yeah, was it? Oh yeah, wasn't he? Wasn't the reason why he has the por he gets a uh, superpower from the porn was because he got bit by a snake wh while sneaking it or something, and that's like and the seeing it triggers the same like a near death adrenaline rush or something. I, I guess the sneak. I think that's what it was. And if that's what it was, then I guess seeing the snake would trigger a similar res a similar a similar fear adrenaline response. I suppose. I memory actually. I think when the ceiling collapsed, something fell on my head. Damn, Date bumped I'd his head. I've completely forgotten that I'm a special agent at Abyss. After I escaped, I wandered around the country. I had no memories, so I took on day labor jobs. Before coming back here, I worked at a hot springs in Atami. <sighs> of course, it's fine. Of course, it was a. Why did nobody look for him at Atami, though? Of all places. So you were there. I really should have drowned him. <laughs> yeah, I've got it back now. It was a few days ago when I saw the news about the stadium. February 10th, Jin Furaway's left half being found. At that moment, I remembered everything. About my past, the HB case, everything. But I didn't return to Abyss right away. I decided to start my own investigation. Why? I thought there might be something fishy about Abyss. I thought maybe Terror was involved somehow. Oh, Sim, how that would even possible if I stop myself? It was Boss who sent the SAT. So that's why you didn't contact us until now. I'm sorry for not telling you right away. In the six years Dante spent wandering around, he had a silicone mask off. After getting his memory back, he started using it again. His reasoning was, a hostess girl at N Nakameguru remembers this face. Nakameguru? That sounds more right than whatever the f however my first butchering of the pronunciation that was still probably more still probably wrong but why are you taking his Horatory Institute and Nice were involved with the HBK. Ken had connections with Horatory Institute and his acquaintances with Tokiko. 
Okay. So I asked Gen to let me borrow his appearance and his name. I thought it would make it easier for me to investigate Horidori Institute in Nice. You didn't refuse, Genny? I can't say no to Date. No, I wanted to investigate something else, so I wasn't Gen the whole time. Yesterday, or technically two days ago now, the 13th, that was actually me. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. Son of a bitch, it's a, it, it was Shaka damn it, it's K again. We're doing K we're doing a K again. Even down to the guy the mask guy being really big. <laughs> and the and the ma and the not mask for Uga a person in the mask being surprisingly small. It is good, I know, Don't but you worry I, about a thing. I mean honestly the original K was pretty good, but you can't and also you know, the whole, the whole fact that who who K is varies, it, it varies by shro it varies I by the fact of the timeline. Crazy. But I still haven't been able to find terror. The right. only real lead I have is the body that was found at Brahma. But I don't know who it is or how it got there. I wanted to ask Gen about it. It's super. It's super pervert detective Dante. Yeah, why is there a corpse in the freezer the again? Corpse. I carried it to the freezer. I locked it and threw the key into the ocean. Where did you find the corpse? I can't tell you. Even if it means getting arrested, I can't tell you. It's okay, Kenny. Omame. Oh? Mame will talk? Yeah. No, Omame. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Kenny. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I asked Genny to carry the corpse to Brahmin six years ago. Oh? And hide it in the freezer. But why? That body. My father found it. Yonoharu Enda? Mizuki, you know? Did Shoma tell you? Yeah. C huh? Assuming her story is true, that aligns with Terror's diary. Komeji found a Jin Furue's body in the first the place? The person who took the corpse really was Yonaharu Enda, a.k.a. Andy's Komeji. That's how and why he became a target. Why did My he... father had a huge debt. He borrowed money from bad people. Yeah, yeah, no, they big time. Him. Listen, Andy's Komeji, your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? You don't pay the money you owe in one month. We're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? He was gonna blackmail Terror for money? Oh, that's... Yes. That's... Uh, fucked up. And stupid. When he found the body, he was really drunk. <gasps> he was... He is... Per, he's the person with the briefcase! He saw Jin Furaway's body at the studio. And then, early the next morning, he found the other corpse at the rooftop amusement park. He told me something came over him, and he just... did it. Komeji f Back in terror- back in, uh... Whose Somnium was it? Or no, it wasn't a Somnium. It was a VR investigation of the- but yeah, that's- How'd you end up the body? The, 11th, the floorboards were overturned, and in the floor was the suitcase. It wasn't Komeji Somnium. It was just, it was a yeah, the VR a, a investigation. We found out about the body, how there was a body up on the, a second body up on the roof of Misatan. Shomo wasn't home at the time. My father was just. The corpse was in that suitcase. Yeah, I think after he sobered up, he realized the mistake he made. He didn't know what to do, so he called me. What happened next? He told me everything that he did. Oh my god! You're so stupid, you know that? You're like the stupidest bottom-feeding dad ever! Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't going to fix this! It's fine. I'll take care of it. So you took the body to Gen's place? Yes. So Genny did nothing wrong. I asked him to do it. Oh, mommy. 
Oh, damn, that's... Okay, I get it. Genny was staying quiet to protect you, Mame. But I need to know more. I want to ask one more thing. It's... We can continue this later. Oh! This is an emergency. The building has been surrounded. They what? found us? They... Oh, no. Were they tracking Aiba and or their phones? And you don't have any porno this time. Oh boy, things. This is. We have you surrounded, Thanks at least this from this side. A true monster, just like the rumors. It was quite the spectacle, but enough is enough. Our team is equipped with live rounds. Please surrender, or else. Bullet. Or else what? You gonna shoot us to death? I'd like to see you try. Mizuki, you're being irrational. What are you planning? Stun grenade round. I'm going to stun grenade them and get past them while they're immobilized. Are you serious? Even if you get past them, what will you do after that? Do you plan on running away forever? All four of us? Yeah, it's really it's okay. cool. I agree with Iba. Dante, get off this channel! Ew, get out of her head, pervert! There's no point trying to fight our way out of this. We should just raise the white flag. Okay. My mommy, no! Okay. Run, Kenny! My mommy! Don't be stupid! It's not even a real bullet in there. It's just a stun grenade. Drop your gun. Amame. Kenny. If that's how it's going to be, I'll create an opening for you. Amame, you run through it, okay? Huh? No. Kenny? What? Detain him. Stop! Kenny didn't do anything wrong! He's a kind person! He didn't do anything wrong! This is all my fault! Stop! Damn! Stop. Oh no! God! They were just gonna... They were just, okay? they were just gonna beat the shit out of him! But we're, they, don't you worry about me. Oh no. As long as you're okay. That is. Jenny! Damn. Mame, I have a favor to ask. Can you sing me that song? What song? The flower that blooms in snow. Dark, the 
shadows and away You can bark but cannot see a thing Rejoice, you're not alone, you are renewed Everyone is here with you Mame, I don't think I can talk much longer, so I wanted to tell you something. you as a friend. At least, that's what I told myself. But I truly loved. I just couldn't accept it. Even after I realized it, I acted like a friend. That's how I acted around you. It was the first time in my life I felt like this. I didn't know what to do. Jenny, you're so cute. What about me is cute? I'm as rugged as my name suggests. But I like that about you. I like how big and strong you are. Just being near you makes me feel safe. <laughs> that would change real quick if I took off my mask. No, that's not true. I think your face is nice too. I like you whether or not you have a mask on. Damn. She probably likes me as a friend, or maybe it's something more childish, like her stuffed animal, or pet. But I was okay with that, as long as it meant being with her. And then she came to me for help. The situation was dire, but it made me so, so happy. But it was fleeting. I knew nothing would come of it. I am hideous after all. Oh God, how could you be so cruel? I wish I never realized how I truly felt. Nothing happens. Nothing's there. I wanted to live a plain, dull life. I wanted to die quietly, alone. And now, everything that's hurt me before means nothing. Everything that's hurt me before is nothing compared to the hurt I feel now. Oh God, why are you so cruel to me? Damn. She'll never love me. She's precious, pure, innocent, and beautiful. Why did you have to show her to me, God? I resent you, Creator. I curse you for this terrible fate you've given me. No. No, I can't. That's not the truth. I... I am grateful to God. I... I met you. My fate was meeting you. Kenny! Oh, oh mommy. I am truly happy. No, Kenny. You're kidding, right? No. No! Kenny! Damn, that's... Damn, again in a mame route. You know, most of the time the character routes like that aren't so horribly tragic, God. Well, we can look on the bright side that from there, uh, I guess there is the fact that at least that leaves the last. That, now we've got those done. So even rather than the one where we investigated terror, 
No, we didn't we didn't do the terror somnium at all that time. Because uh because the mass woman's route when we knew uh I believe, yeah, off of knowing, I believe off of knowing what he thought of Jin, of his do, his son's birth, we end up going that way, and then end up going to Leon's Insomnium, who ended up finding out that Amame hid Jin threw away his corpse in the freezer, and that, and that the masked woman is named Quartz and is Big Sis. Um... Oh yeah, look at that. It's J Uruzu Isuma, so yeah. Oh, we also learned about Uru Somazeki, Somezuki, and the pedestal, and how that, how that both Jin and his body, his his, his Jin and the original Terror are dead. So who the hell is this guy? Who the hell is this Terror? Yeah, a bit that abyss may have been influenced by Terror and Nice. Two of them look to him safe. Mizuki is trying to find another victim in the HB case. <laughs> oh, hey, summary right there. Jin Furoi's parents are Tokiko and Shikara. J it terrors, uh, it terrors. A sink revealed this. It's still unknown to who Terror is. He seemed to have looked up to Tokyo and even called her mom. Mizuki heads to the abandoned fair field for Do Date. There she sees Tokiko. Tokyo admits she is Jin Furoi's mother and Shikara is the father. Chikara said that Jin must be the Almighty. That's when Terror makes an appearance. Terror talks about the Nirvana Initiative. They must exterminate some rats. It's Jin Furoi's, who's already dead. Oh hey, oh that's cool. That's neat. If you do the, if you read the summary of a case that you a part that you haven't even started or was locked, you get the same typical. Ryuki gibberish. As you can see, yeah, see? This is a good example of how it's difficult to read. It's difficult to even just try to decipher because you can see there's there's English letters, Chinese characters, Japanese le Japanese kanji, and also a few, and it looks like maybe even, it looks like even a couple of just symbols thrown in. What time? We've, I want to do. We've got. We still got. It's only eight thirty. We still got some more. Eight, we still got at least a little more time. Oh, you came. Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. It's on me. It's such a bizarre case. The HB serial killings. Oh, I'll be right back.
Hello, hi, welcome back. Good morning. Why do you say good I say that phrase way too much. That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Oh, are you summarizing, Mama? Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Tara, who are they, really? Who is Tara? Oh! <gasps> Oh good, they're oh they're making me they're quizzing me to make sure that I'm up to the facts. Who who am I right now? Uh mama. Yep. You got me. I wanted to slurp on the juices of young men. That's why I sliced <laughs> them in half. Oh come on, there's no way. Besides, Komeji and Shikara are not young. Care to give a more serious answer? <clears throat> Uh, Uru Somazuki. Right. Yep. We know he killed at least three people. No, Jin for Jin was the first victim. Jin Furue, Chikara Horadori, Andy's Komeji. But why did he kill them? What was his goal? Why did Terra kill Terra kill them? To build schools in Africa. <laughs> he wasn't some noble philanthropist. That has nothing to do with anything. Fine, uh, to, uh, to get oh, revenge. True, I suppose, but that wasn't the main reason. For the Nirvana that's Initiative. Right. The Nirvana Initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. Thank you, Mama, for being so wise. If this is... Is this literally happening, or is this just a, a handy? Are you just a handy narrative contrivance? And right Doesn't really the matter. Were found six years apart. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, yep. on February tenth, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Devita, and this year, five days ago, also on the tenth, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium. Not gins. Right. Plastic Divider. surgery and complete organ transplants. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain them being found six years apart? And also Tokiko's, you know, death, apparent death and resurrection. You have good intuition. Why did it seem like bodies appeared after six years had passed? Um, Professor Brown created a time machine. Who is Professor Brown? Could you please not introduce a new character out of nowhere? <laughs> um, Ryuki and Mizuki were were hallucinating. Oh, no, the right and left half of their bodies were found. The timeline was not in the correct order. Right. In other words, it's not like that. It's like this. Uh, son of a... What? This is the timeline that you actually experienced. Uchikoshi, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> the red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. You started on the red line from the top, and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. Four X's? The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. So Ryuki's investi- is Ryuki- is Ryuki having his little dissociative investigation? Was- wasn't just, uh... Ryuki was actually- we were actually playing, actually experiencing his his little experience. We, he wasn't just having a really bad day, but we were also just seeing his normal experience. Jeez. To make things easier, we'll call the left side yeah. past and the right side present. Yeah, let's just let Mama cook. How about this? In other words, you came here jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Now do you understand? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. Right. 
His left half was found the next morning. Okay. That makes okay. We say it out loud like that. I guess that makes sense, kind of. His right half was found on the thirteenth. His left half was found the next morning at six a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February twelfth. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. Yep, I guess so. Thank you for the hydrate. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. Damn it. We got ourselves a, a good old-fashioned unreliable narrator. Or unreliable point of view, huh? Yep. Oh, are we? Yep. <laughs> This is a chart that shows the flow of the story in chronological order. The true time flow chart can be checked from mo menu flow chart. Okay. This is. Right, Ryuki gets the, heads to the shrine, and then the investigation of Ikara's organs were all removed. Let's just try to follow it from. Let's just try to follow it step by step from the present, right? Okay, so it it all starts from what we play from the present. We do Ryuki Somnium, and then with that, we end up going down one of two paths. Then we have our Ryuki's talks to to them, and then we end up we end up having we meet uh we meet uh the we meet Kizzy. We investigate and along the way we end up investigating Chikara. Then and uh, then Chikara's left hat Chikara's body was found then, and then. And then, then Mizuki, the same day, the, the next morning, investigated that and found Chikara's left half. And did the... Hi, Kiki. We're getting confused. See, because originally the game, the way that the story was presented, was that Ryuki's point of Ryuki and Mizuki's point of view were presumably both an uninterrupted, you know, uninterrupted flow of time of the previous six year of the of six years of, of the events of six years ago and six and and the present. In reality, it turns out that in fact. It is alternated every day, which who is experiencing the past and the present. This allow this 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 ex, does explain how the bodies were able to be found, you know, seemingly perfectly, seemingly in good the same shape they should be. But you know, because they weren't preserved, they weren't they weren't preserved at all. That's what that's how they were. You know, in perfect shape after six years. It wasn't six years. It was at most like six hours. Oh, after the average corpse discovery. But wait.
This explains the Mizuki's investigation of the scene where Andy's took the corpse. You're right! You know what? You're right! There shouldn't have been any evidence of Andy, of Komeji having taken the corpse if it was six years ago. You know what? I guess when you, th if you think about some of the things here, this does line up, but it's still... Ooh, it's still kind of a doozy to have to reorganize the timeline a bit, you know? It's, it's pretty good. It's, a, it's an interesting way to do... It's an interesting time-related twist without introducing time... Actually introducing time travel into it. But it's... But it's but it also just means that the story is kind of a prank on the player a little bit. <laughs> if if it was if it was put if it was it was then again I suppose that would mean a six year time skip. If a six year time skip of nothing would be kind of boring, honestly, you know. It'd be kind of awkward if we did, if we did go <laughs> Ryuki Zuki, Ryuki Zuki, and then just time skip, you know, it'd be weird. This is, literally nobody but Uchikoshi could have written this. I, I am in shock, I am shocked by this, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, there is the question of why does Mizuki look like she does in the past? Yeah, you're right. Mama, you gonna explain that part? You gonna keep going? Anyway, that's true. Oh, but I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially who killed Uru and A little bit. To be fair, some of some of his writing is both good, smart, and some of it is a little bit Ch of that. Chikara, Komage, it was terror. Uru, who sliced, but then Uru was killed in the present, February tenth. Tokiko's body was found after that. Right. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? So there is a second terror, though. Then well, by Mizuki. Her friend? And by you, Freya. Okay, so you were talking to me. I'm glad to clear up that this wasn't literally actually happening, and that it's, she's talking directly to me. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. Yeah. I'll be cheering you on. Uh huh. Who was I just talking to? Oh, we to? were t we were talking to. A there you go. <laughs> That's the quick. Of course, Mama has to be the one to explain it because she's the only one that could t they could have talk directly to the player without it breaking everything. It breaking, also breaking into the continuity a bit, huh? Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. With the with her spirit channeling. It's awfully cold tonight. <laughs> they, I do like that they even managed to explain away her talking to the player. <laughs> That's... Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. Kizuno went missing. Around 11 o'clock, Rishi Chieda, her father, contacted me. And Iba and I started a search for Kizzy. Got a call on my phone. It was from her. She told me to meet her here at Iowa. So, that makes us sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. Okay, I did notice that she, her ad voice actress is doing a slightly different performance. For, for Quartz. My genome was rearranged. 
Your DNA was modified on top of that, which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade, the perfect version of me. So why do you don't have an eyeball? Like that. Hey, I just want to. So I want to see the. Oh! So she was the past investigator, investigator in the past with Iba. You know what? I guess that. That's. I guess that's the way it could make sense. Huh? If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. Either that or by per. Ah. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and It's Chiron. a little bit of, it, okay. Her being- it's a, it's a contrivance a bit. It's kind of contrived now, but it is contrived, but... Courts- when you say- once you've said that, that seems to be the only way that- re, that court- that there could be a Mizuki in the past, is if that Quartz was with Aiba. I didn't want you to end up like me. And then I wanted that, and Aiba doesn't remember life. her because As she was damaged. And he, anyway. and she was damaged. And I guess nobody thought to, nobody has mentioned her. Oh, oh wait, no, Mass Woman was uh. Oh yeah, Mass the Mass Woman was there at the uh, explosion, wasn't she? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. Get a normal job. A normal husband. No way. Get married. Normal. A family, normal husband. <laughs> now, now am I now I'm hitting the but? Am I hitting the word but? Am I hitting the buzzer to the word normal or the word husband? Who can tell? <laughs> a life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's true. It's like I told you, I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. I swear what happened back then. Don't mean DSOs will have on the 12th and the 14th. The, yep. Yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah, see? That's, yeah, that's, yep. The 12th and the 14th. So half the time, this does mean half the time we weren't even playing as Mizuki. What could be? Yeah. Okay. It's weird. It's I, I'm get I it, it's it's a lot to pull uh, to suddenly reveal at once to have to recontextualize the whole story with you know. Like, I'll get through it, but it's a lot. Yeah, Tama also. Yep, the balloons. Her sinking with Gen. Finding the... The, pit, the hidden body. Finding Komeiji. Finding out about the move... The corpse being moved by Komeiji. Meeting up with Date. Ryuki. Terror Sink. What you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. Oh, so that it. So that was. T that was Jin Vrue. Hey, let me just. <clears throat> yeah, hang on. Let me pull up the. I was hit file when I mean to hit. What I mean to hit flow chart. Um Yeah, no, that's that that's definitely Ryuki met. Uh, 
met, uh, met up with them. I don't know, it was definitely Mizuki. It, it, Quartz who met them. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. I but you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed yep, there you go. at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. Yeah. The same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. Terror is Kizzy's dad. Uh oh. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the institute. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't track. I mean, sure, Kizzy's uh, Jin Furuway is ju also is just a second rich, very rich man. No, Ricci sent assassins. Those are Ricci said he was say Ricci was say said he would force the issue and he was using excessive force for the issue. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. Yeah, no, yeah. It's 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 easy to get. It's look, these rich assholes that are rich enough to hire assassin squads, they're all kind of indistinguishable from each other at a certain point. <laughs> <laughs> you were still a baby, but the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places, but we are both named Mizuki, and we looked really similar. No, well, your name's Mizuki too. I mean, of course. And that's why Quartz is being used as a handy s differentiator. So to make it easier. Everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you Mizuki. Well, damn, that's got to be rough to be you. You're Mizuki first, and you have to give up. You have to move your move to give your name to the little baby clone of yourself. <laughs> Is that a real universe one, universe A situation? Me to Horidori Institute. Every so often for examinations. Well, I, I don't think you remember. But they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles <gasps> oh! as big as boba straws. The, 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 the rat, the, the doll, the doll, in, in the, in her son, in her sink. That, that was Mizuki! My time with Horadori Institute ended when I was nine. That she grabbed a drill to protect her from? The teddy bear was Suki! Yeah! Shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, you were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. Chieda! So when you were not the Chieda's. I spent the next six years there, up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. Uh, and that's what... I see. And that's kind of why Kizuna calls you Big Sis, because she... That's why she called yep. me Big Sis. Because... <laughs> which also works out... Even, which also works out with the whole... Honestly, you didn't need the, both those layers of that. You could, you could just say that... Well, I guess, no way. I guess she wouldn't be big si Mizuki wouldn't be big sis then, right? You said- Yeah, I was adopted by her. Eccentric woman, let me guess. Tokiko. She's away oh. for Anushi. Boss? Boss. She's boss's daughter! Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. You think that sounds kind of lame, huh? That's a cool name. No, it's not that. It's a cool. That's a cool name, honestly. <laughs> you know how we're stronger than everybody else. Maybe she thought I'd come in handy, so she wanted to make you work for her. Yeah, that's boss. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. 
it's easy enough to buy from her it, for her being her promotives, After huh? After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Why? I wonder. No wonder, no wonder she's goofy, though. Way, she's I'm also curious. a Mizuki, huh? <laughs> Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. Huh. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah. Uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. Uh, yeah, that's right. It wasn't a. It was a. It wasn't a teddy bear. It was and a rabbit. You remember what they called us at Ioan, right? You were big. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. <sighs> you just called me BB. BB. <sighs> I feel like Cat. I feel like Cass would be laughing about this one if if they were here. <laughs> BB. BB. Yeah. BB. Huh. BB. Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. <sighs> Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. BB? BB B. Informant persons. Ah! God! <laughs> Dante jump scare. Yeah. Ah! What the fuck? I wish I could open up the log for that. Oh my god, that's so perfect. <laughs> this is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax. What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh, and most importantly. Who the hell is this? What? Isn't it obvious? Wait. You're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? I'm sorry, Mizuki. I mean, okay. I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. At least, uh, at least this information. Uh, and then we're getting the information that we got. We the the, the Freyer learned over there from the other side of this event. This investigation but also because of the fact of you know but also because this this all happens to be stuff that could be could have been learned by other people i i mean it's awkward and he's been wandering the earth for the past six years it, it's this is a little awkward to make this whole this twist fit work Five days ago on the 10th and finally got his memory back but it I, I, but Ushikoshi is trying his hardest to do a time-based plot twist without actually doing time travel. I, I, at That's least right. he's trying to not fall into that to plot into that again. You know, my voice reaches Dante's brain right now. That's because there's a de reception in his left eye socket. You can mute me by turning it off, but it's a real hassle, so it's still on. Same, same. This is the same for Masuki. Kuranushi. She hears my voice too. 
Hmm, Mizuki Kuranushi is really kind of long. Let's call her BB. Yeah. Okay, now we're at three hours, so... I feel like that... We can... I think this is where we can stop and come back and unpack and finish the, try to finish the game, huh, next time. Yeah, this is a, I feel like if we keep going much further, we'll... We need... We might need... I think we need a minute to get through this. Interestingly, oh, I forgot. Oh, did I forget to turn that back on? I'm sorry. Let me, sorry, you know, after, after, uh, dur I didn't, I didn't want the Eidolon getting as much. Oh my God. No wonder you guys have been so well behaved today. <laughs> I thought I turned all that back on. I'm sorry, let me just... Um... No, wait, not that one. Oh. Because I... That's something I... I, I'm, I like to... That's something I definitely want, not... No, it's not. Nothing like that. There we go. It's just those, I feel like, if I'm trying to make something a bit more, that might be, you know, lasting a bit more, and, you know, like, and isn't as overall goofy as my average streams, I want, though, I don't want, you know, Twilight Sparkle coming up. <laughs> or Neko Arcs interrupting me trying to do a, my, any, narration but yes thank you everybody for coming it's been a lot this is the good i dev i am excited i i feel like next time i might just push through and try to finish as much as i can who's up right now who's up for a stream today who's up for a raid today um Uh we got K K playing Sonic Or JD I think JD I don't, I don't think I've raided them in a minute <laughs> Yeah, go, go be nice to her. Go, go say hi to it. Be cool. I'll see y'all soon. Uh, I want to, yeah, hopefully if all works out for the rest over this week, I'll be back tomorrow with Fire Emblem, and then the next day with Near, and then Saturday with Near, Sunday Neon White. Got some good stuff this week. But. Until then, have a great night, better tomorrow, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!